Hello everyone, it's uh, time for small group and I told you yesterday that I would be building shapes. So I have some marshmallows. I really should have left some of these out overnight, it works better. Um, but I didn't think about it, so I'm gonna use squishy marshmallows. But I have some teeny tiny marshmallows and I have some toothpicks. So uh, moms and dads, if you wanted to, you could buy some mini marshmallows and some toothpicks and you guys could try to do this at home. Um, so I'm going to start out with some of our basic shapes that we're learning, and um, I think I forgot to bring my shapes uh, from home that I used to show the kids stuff. I have those mats, but I wanted to show them just the picture of the shapes, so I put some on my phone. Um, so the first shape I'm going to try to build is a square, so I'm going to need to have four sides and four corners. Um, so since I need four sides, I'm going to take... Uh, four toothpicks because that would help me make four sides. So first I'm going to take the toothpicks and I'm going to insert them into uh, some marshmallows and this is how we're going to build our shapes. Now today we're going to work on not only our uh, flat shapes like square and rectangle and triangle but we're also going to work on some 3D shapes like spheres, which looks like a ball, cylinder, which looks like um, a can, and um, a cone, which looks like a pointy ice cream cone or a birthday party hat. So um, right now I'm just putting the toothpicks and the marshmallows together to make my shape. Uh, we did do this in class in Miss Marlene's room, so some of the kids have already done this. Um, and if you're going to do it with the kids, leave some of the marshmallows out because it works much better. So see, I, I uh, built my square. This one's a square. It has one, two, three, four corners and one, two, three, four sides. And they're all the same length. Not one is longer than the other. That's what makes a square. Um, so... The next one I'm going to work on is a rectangle. Um, a rectangle, I'm going to show you the picture on my phone, has four sides as well and four corners. So one, two, three, four sides. One, two, three, four corners. Um, except two of the sides are longer and two of the sides are shorter. So. For this, because I need to have some longer sides and the toothpicks are all the same size, I'm gonna use four toothpicks for two sides and two toothpicks for the other two sides. So basically I'm gonna use one, two, three, four, five, six toothpicks to build my rectangle to make my four sides with. So again, I'm gonna get out some marshmallows. And you don't wanna eat the marshmallows, guys, that you were building your, your stuff with. Just save some for later. So look, I put a marshmallow on both sides of the toothpick. And now I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna do the long side. So this is gonna be my short side. And this is gonna be my long side. So I'm using, I gotta lay this down to, in order to connect it, but I'm using the marshmallows as connectors. Kind of like a tinker toy. Um, some of your parents might remember those, boys and girls. They were like these sticks and stuff that you could stick together. Um, so I did my other side, did my two long sides and my one short side. So I just have to add a marshmallow and a marshmallow and a uh, toothpick. Now my toothpicks are pointy, so you got to be careful if you get pointy toothpicks so that you don't stab yourself. Um, but you can get flat toothpicks at the grocery store. So there we go. There's my rectangle. So I used, how many um, marshmallows did I use? One, two, it's hard to hold this up, three, four, five, six. So again, I used two um, toothpicks for the long sides. So one side, two sides, three sides, four sides. 
I had four corners. So that's my rectangle. I'm next gonna make a triangle. Um, now, one thing we won't be able to make with these is a circle because a circle doesn't have sides and there's no way for me to do this without sides. So um, here's our triangle shape. It has one, two, three sides and three corners. One, two, three, or three points. So I'm gonna need three toothpicks and three marshmallows to make my shape. So I'm gonna put one marshmallow on and then the other marshmallow. And now for this, you're not gonna put it straight up and down, you're gonna slant it because remember, in a, um, in a triangle, the sides are slanted like this. So. And then see, I've added my other toothpick and I'm gonna connect it with this other toothpick. It's much easier if you're building on a flat surface, but to show you, I've got to hold it up because my person who helps with my videos is not out here with me. So here's the triangle I built. One, two, three corners, and one, two, three sides. Um, the next shape I'm gonna do is a rhombus. Now rhombuses are like squares and triangles, or not triangles, squares and rectangles. They have four sides and four corners. I'm gonna hold it. We often call it a diamond, but the official name of it is a rhombus. So it has one, two, three, four. And all the sides are the same on this rhombus. The difference is they slant. They don't go straight up and down like the square. So I'm gonna need four marshmallows for my rhombus shape and four toothpicks. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put a marshmallow on either side of my toothpick. And I'm gonna connect this marshmallow, see? Now, I'm not putting it straight up and down because it needs to slant. So I'm not doing this, I'm doing this. Can you see that? Now, if you notice, this almost looks like a triangle, right? Um, last week when I was using other shapes to make shapes, I forgot to uh, do this one. Two triangles put together can make a rhombus. So I'm gonna take another toothpick and put it in this side. I need my other marshmallow to put on the end of that toothpick. And then I'm going to connect them. Now, it's kind of hard. I just got a, um, the rhombus is kind of like a squished square. So here's my rhombus that I built. It's one, two, three, four sides and one, two, three, four corners. And if you notice, it looks like a triangle on top of another triangle. Let me see if I can do it without falling apart. So if I were to put a toothpick here, it would still be a rhombus, but it would also be two triangles put together. See that? Okay, so that's our rhombus. I have uh, one more shape we're gonna do. It's called the pentagon, and the pentagon looks like a house. looks like a house. So there's my pentagon. It has, oops, I don't want to open all that. So here's my pentagon. It has one, two, three, four, five sides and one, two, three, four, five corners. Now um, it almost looks like a house. These are slanted, but you could make a pentagon is a house shape. So you can do them up and down. And remember last week we talked about when we did our pentagon um, that you could use a triangle and a square to do a pentagon. So because the pentagon has five corners, I think I'm gonna need five marshmallows. And then uh, I know I'm gonna need five toothpicks. So let's build our pentagon. So here is my, I'm gonna do the top of my pentagon first. Now I'm gonna do my sides. And I'll show you, I'll hold it up. So I have, so far, the top and one side, you can see it there. And I've used three marshmallows. So I'm gonna stick a marshmallow on that pointy end of the other marshmallow. 
You know, um, parents, the kids kind of had trouble building shapes, so they'll need a lot of guidance. When we did this last time, a lot of them were just building straight lines or like crazy looking things that weren't actual triangles or squares. I mean, it, this is a hard concept for little guys, but it's very important that they learn their shapes. And sometimes you think your kids know their shapes and then when you ask them, not really. So um, here's my pentagon, it's gonna try to fall apart. And it looks like a house. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I gotta count fast guys, cause it's gonna fall apart. Then I have one, two, three, four, five corners or points. Um, and if, and I, I could have just done it easy and did this, see a triangle and a square, but I really wanted to show you how to build one. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our 3D shapes. Um, that's something we were starting to work on a little bit before school let out. Um, so I have my sphere, which looks like a ball. Um, you can't call this a circle, because it's not just... Uh-oh, I just dropped all my toothpicks on the floor. So you can't call it a circle, because it's a, it's a ball shape, which means it's a sphere. Now here's my cylinder. It does have two circle shapes on each end, um, but it, it's not circle. It's called a, a cylinder, and it looks like a can. So I'm gonna set that there. So I'm gonna try to build, I don't know that I could build the, sear, the cylinder or the sphere, but I can try to do a cone. Maybe I can't. I don't know, I can try to do something that looks similar. We'll try. Um, this is called the cone, and it has a pointy top and a circle bottom. And then this is a pyramid, and it's made out of triangles and a square on the bottom. And this is a cube. Um, so I'm gonna try to pick up. I don't think I can build the cone, guys. The more I think about it, I can't build the cone. But I can build uh, the pyramid and the cube. So those are the ones we'll build. So I'm gonna pick up um, some of my toothpicks because I can't build without them. And also, uh, oh man, they're just falling like crazy. My box is kind of broke anyway, so it's not helping. Um, I'll have to pick these up after I'm done doing the video with you guys. Um, so one of the things we're gonna do later in the week is I'm gonna have my daughter take us on a scavenger hunt around the house to look for shapes. Um, we're gonna look for 2D shapes, which are the square and rectangle triangle rhombus and pentagon. And my dog wants to chew on the cylinder. She thinks it's a toy just for her, but it's not. Um, and we're gonna look for cones. This one will probably be more challenging to find in your house, but you might be able to. Uh, cubes and pyramids as well, in our house, and spheres. So, I'm gonna try to build a cube. What uh, shapes do you think I need to use to build a cube? Um, I'm gonna say I need a lot of squares. So, uh, let's try one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna need six squares. I already have one, so I'm gonna use that so that I don't have to waste more marshmallows or toothpicks. So um, I wish I had a little, well, maybe I could just, no, it's not big enough. I wish I kind of had a platform so you guys could see better. Hmm, I wonder if I use this tissue box. Okay, so up on top I'm going to build. So I have our square that we already built, and I'm going to put one toothpick in each corner marshmallow. Now I'm probably not gonna need to build six separate squares, but I'm gonna need to have six squares on my cube when I'm done. My dog really wants to play with the blocks. She's <laughs> trying to get into the bag. See, I have them in the bag and she's sniffing them and, and trying, to, uh, trying to get them. Okay, so I have the bottom already built. Now I have some sides. Can you guess what I'm gonna to have to do next? I'm gonna to have to add a marshmallow on each top of the toothpick to build a cube. 
Um, and then I've got to add the sides up here. So I'm going to put a toothpick into this marshmallow and a toothpick into this marshmallow. I'm going to put a toothpick here and a toothpick here. This is almost like building with the magnet tiles at school, except not as, not as easy. But it's kind of the same, like when you guys used to build the uh, little cubes out of your magnet tiles. And you, I don't think you knew you were building cubes. You called them your boxes or your garages or your houses. So um, a cube is a box, or a box is a cube, I should say. Okay, so I added a top square, see? And there we have our cube. Um, it's gonna fall apart, cause it's, you know, it's just made out of marshmallows and toothpicks, but I find it pretty cool. So um, I'll set that up here while I build my pyramid. Um, this pyramid has a square bottom, so I'm gonna build another square. So I'm gonna need four toothpicks to make the sides and four marshmallows. So I'm doing this behind the tissue box because it's hard, the tissue box isn't the most steady. So I'm gonna build my square again. See, I'm starting to build it. My dog is probably smelling these marshmallows now. She likes marshmallows. So I'm probably gonna have to give her, I'll probably give her these to eat, some of them, not all of them, because that would be bad for her. But just a little treat, maybe a couple of the marshmallows when I'm all done. Um, so see, I built another square base so I can build my pyramid. I'm gonna lay it flat. Now we're gonna need, if you look, this has triangles on it. So one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna need four triangle shapes all around this uh, square base. So I'm gonna take two toothpicks, almost like I did with this, except that I am only gonna use, I'm gonna try to only use one marshmallow. This might be really, really tough because these marshmallows are small, but I'm gonna insert all the toothpicks into this top marshmallow. So to do this, I see, look, you can see from the side, I'm gonna grab two more um, toothpicks and put them in the side. So see how that looks? And then I'm gonna slant this one that I already built in, and I'm gonna stick it into the top of that marshmallow. And there, look, I've built a pyramid has a square bottom and some triangle sides. I think that went pretty well. What do you think? Um, you could try to build some other shapes that I didn't build, um, or you can just try to recreate these, or you can just watch the video, but I, I really wanted you guys to see the 3D shapes. Um, remember there's sphere, which is a ball, the uh, cube, which is square-like, the, the pyramid. Oh, look, if I used a cube in a pyramid, it looks like I built a house, a pentagon. I don't know what that's called though, but we could build like a house shape, so. Um, that's all I have for you today. This is kind of a long video, so I'm going to let you go, and we will do another small group tomorrow. Bye, guys.